Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the news. We are currently at Lake Minnewanka in Banff, which is a beautiful scenery, uh, massive lake here in the mountains with obviously some of, again, the most beautiful mountain ranges around it. We've got a great episode today. We're talking about the 2025 Bronco. We will be talking about <clears throat> a new exhaust system for the Mustang, and we'll be talking about uh, four performance cars and what the future will hold for them. So without further ado, let's just get right into this. Starting things off, I do want to mention that we do have this beautiful pre-owned Timberline Explorer 2022 with about 25,000 kilometers on it. This thing is in its natural habitat right now. The logo for the Timberline is literally mountains. So where do you go wrong bringing it out to the mountains? Give us a call if you're interested in a Bronco Timberline. The Timberline was the last year. They're, they might bring the model back, but the Timberline was the last one that they made that doesn't have an excessive amount of technology in it. Uh, it doesn't have the massive screen. It doesn't have all of the read your face while you're driving, but it does have a 360 camera. It does have adaptive cruise control. It's got pretty much everything that you want in it without any of the extras. So give us a call if you're interested or click the link below. Starting things off, the 2025 Bronco uh, has not received a mid-cycle refresh like most of the vehicles in Ford's lineup has, but there is some news uh, with it coming very shortly. It looks like the Bronco Badlands two-door will drop the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost option. Ford is all about having the power of choice. Uh, with every single vehicle they have, there is countless trim levels, there's countless options, and there is a ton of different engine options that you can choose from. So dropping an engine option from a Bronco is an interesting thing to say the least, especially the 2.7, since it is such a formidable uh, engine and it is obviously uh, lovely to use. We've been using it for the last couple weeks coming out here. So we will be sad to see the 2.7 drop from the two-door Badlands, but uh, that four-cylinder is also a very, very good engine. So let us know down in the comments below what you think about Ford dropping that 2.7, and is that something that you would want to see return, uh, or do you want a different power planet? Would you like to see a hybrid Bronco? Let us know. Recently, uh, Europe's design director for Ford, Amco Leinhardt, has said that Ford's performance models aren't going anywhere. So. That's great to hear. However, we need to see more of them here in North America. Over in Europe, you have tons of awesome vehicles. You have the Puma ST, you have the Fiesta, and the Focus ST are still very much alive. All these small, compact vehicle performance cars are absolutely fantastic. Now, I don't know if there's not really a market for it here. However, we need to see more of it here because all those vehicles have unfortunately left us uh, in the last few years. The Mustang is a fantastic and amazing vehicle to have on our side of the pond uh, especially for what you get for such a reasonable price at the end of the day the mustang for the power that you get compared to the price that it costs there's not many vehicles out there that can hold a candle to it and with the discontinuation of the hellcat and the challenger and the camaro really it's the only muscle car left so ford please if you're listening to this make some more vehicles that are compact and fun to drive. I would kill for a hybrid Focus ST that had a little bit more torque off the line. But I'm glad to see that obviously their design team is thinking that they're not going anywhere. That hopefully will trickle down into our neck of the woods, but I will be here holding my breath. And last but not least today, we have the Dark Horse is getting louder thanks to one of Ford's aftermarket accessory powerhouse is Borla. Borla is making an aftermarket exhaust system for the Dark Horse, which is absolutely insane. It comes in two varieties, the S-Type and the ATAC, with the former providing a deep V8 tone and the latter delivering maximum volume for those to like people to hear their car coming. Um, the five, five liter V8 is an amazing, amazing engine. It sounds great from stock, so being able to throw a exhaust system on it and having it scream at people will be even better. So take a look at these, you get two options. You get obviously one with chrome tips and then one with blacked out tips. Looks absolutely great. We're really excited to see this, that the Mustang is still getting a ton of aftermarket support from everywhere, from Borla, from RTR, from Shelby, from 
Stita, everywhere you turn, the Mustang has people who want to work with it and, and create a unique variation of the car. So we're very excited for that. Um, that's everything for the news today. It's a little bit of a shorter episode. However, uh, tons of really good stuff to come. Next week, we're going to be talking about all the new trucks that have hit the, uh, hit the industry and the market recently to see, you know, it used to just be the big three, but now we're going to be talking about all the ones that have shown up. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.